I'm Rolene Marks. This is the Israel Brief brought to you as always by Lay of the Land, where we bring you those top stories making headlines right here in Israel. And we promise to get them as hot off the press as possible and right here for you to enjoy. So let's kick off and we begin with news that Likud Yariv Levine has been voted in as the new Speaker of the Knesset, replacing Yesh Atid's Mickey Levy. Meanwhile, early today quite a lot of controversy as it was reported that the religious faction United Torah Judaism had put forward demands that electricity be stopped for the duration of Shabbat. Now Shabbat begins at sunset on a Friday night and comes out at sunset on a Saturday night and it is believed that this is a demand put forward by United Torah Judaism as the incoming Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu still moves to form his coalition government. It is believed that this is an attempt by the more religious factions to try and gain more religious control in the incoming government. Meanwhile, Netanyahu has responded to this demand saying there will be no shutting down of electricity for the duration of Shabbat. The status quo will remain and everybody will be free to worship as they see fit. Yesterday, during clashes between counter-terror operatives and gunmen in the city of Jenin, there's Jenin yet again, it was reported that during this heavy exchange of fire, a 16-year-old Palestinian girl was killed. Now, of course, it beggars the question, what was a 16-year-old Palestinian girl doing so close to such a tense a conflict-ridden situation. That is a question I think many of us would want answers. But speaking to I-24 News, an unnamed official from the border police says that the IDF releasing a statement saying that there is a possibility she could have been hit by sniper fire was hasty and uh, done prematurely and without a proper investigation. Now, this follows calls from the U.S. Department of uh, State um, spokesperson Ned Baker for accountability during the situation. Now, we've been following uh, all the debacle and the heavy politicization of events surrounding the death of Al Jazeera journalist Shirin Abu Akhleh since it happened in May. And could this have been an attempt by the IDF to try and preempt uh, accusations and demands for investigations and escalations to places like uh, the International Criminal Court, which is what Al Jazeera has done, or the FBI? But one thing is for sure is that it has been noted by the media that uh, this has been decided upon without a proper investigation. Meanwhile, on the subject of investigations, the UN representative for children in armed conflict, Virginia Gamba, is in Israel and it is reportedly believed that Israel will ha hand her a, a report containing information how the miners or Palestinian miners who are killed by IDF troops are involved either in military or quasi-military activity. The report is also believed to contain evidence explaining how incitement is used as well as weapons training, summer camps and UNRWA is used to weaponize children by terror entities like Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad. It is believed Gamba will visit Israel, the West Bank and the Gaza Strip and Israel will present its case how children are used as child soldiers by terror entities uh, bent on uh, carrying out terrorist activities. And finally, as much as we can, we try to end our broadcasts on a positive note. And we are very, very happy to report that British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak announced yesterday 
during a luncheon for conservative friends of Israel that he is planning on visiting Israel next year during Israel's historic 75th birthday. This just goes to show the ongoing closeness that Israel and the United Kingdom is continuing to build. And uh, Prime Minister Sunak, we look forward to welcoming you on your first visit to the State of Israel. And that brings me to the end of today's broadcast. Don't forget to check out our website at www.layoftheland.online. We've got all your articles that you are interested in. You can check out our archives. You can uh, look through older Israel briefs and uh, even Papa Salan if you miss us during the December holidays. Just a reminder, we will be um, publishing content this week and a newsletter next week. However, we will be taking a break until the early weeks of next year. The Israel Brief will be a continuing. If you want to continue to check out the Israel Brief and subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can find us at the Israel Brief. Click on the red subscribe button to subscribe. Don't forget to like and share our content. And we're on Facebook at Lottle Site. If you haven't already joined our Facebook community, please give us a like, give us a follow, share our content, invite your friends. And as always, we're on Twitter at Lay of the Land 5. And with that, I'm Raleen Marks. This has been the Israel Brief. And don't forget to join me again tomorrow for your top stories.